hey guys welcome to today's video jumping right into today's diy i'm going to be creating a harley quinn costume very last minute so i thought that i would go ahead and record the process if you guys are looking for any last minute costumes when i tell you this is the easiest costume it is the easiest so what you're going to need are shorts a, a top um, sequin fabric red and blue from Hobby Lobby is where I got mine but you can also purchase this at Walmart also got a long sleeve white t-shirt from Walmart this costume is for my eight-year-old so be mindful that it is going to be kid friendly so what I did to create this costume was actually just follow the template of what I already had which these shorts she had in her closet she had never worn them. i think i got them off sheen and they just didn't fit her too good so here we are utilizing what we have so i am just outlining the shorts with the fabric and literally tracing the shorts onto the fabric because this was the easiest thing i could think of i didn't have time to do measurements and sew needle and thread I just was not up for that. I went on Amazon first to see if I can even find this costume to get here in time with Amazon Prime, but I was just unsuccessful. So here we are, okay? <laughs> so I am literally tracing the short pattern onto the fabric and then taking the fabric and putting it on top of the shorts and gluing everything together using fabric glue and adhesive spray. Yes, so I'm not doing any sewing any of that you guys if you have e6000 glue if you have hot glue if you have you know tacky glue fabric glue whatever you have at home if you're a crafter like me i keep these supplies so listen find what you can at home and you can make this diy come to life because it literally was the most minimal effort and i enjoyed it for once because some diys i get myself into and i don't even enjoy them because i'm like what am i doing why am i doing this to myself but this one was so easy when i tell you a five-year-old can do it a five-year-old can do it okay so you're literally just putting the fabric on top of the shorts and covering the white part of the shorts that's all you're doing so before i glue the fabric to the shorts i'm just making sure the seams line up and everything looks good and there's no extra fabric or wrinkles before I start to glue the fabric to the actual shorts. You do have to be a little neat just to make sure that everything lines up and it comes out right. I know I said it's easy but it does take a little effort to get everything looking nice and and the same thing you did with the red fabric, you're gonna do with the blue sequin fabric. You're gonna line it up, you're gonna cut it out using the measurements of the shorts to make sure that it fits the space that you're gonna glue it down on. Again, making sure you line it up correctly because you can cut the fabric too short and then you won't have enough fabric to cover up the white part and it just takes extra steps. So if you do it right the first time, the better off you're gonna be with this DIY. So here I am taking some tacky glue and I put the glue on the seams of the shorts or the part where the shorts were a lot more bulky. I tried to focus the glue in that area, so on the belt strap, on the cuff part, on the edges, so that when I went to put the fabric down, that glue would hold a lot better than just me spraying the shorts with the adhesive spray. So just two methods to utilize different glues to just ensure that the fabric is going to hold up for the one or two hours that you'll be wearing the costume. So 
So I'm just gluing the fabric to the shorts. I'm using the shorts as my template to glue down the fabric. And once I'm done, you're not gonna be able to see any white on the outside of the shorts. The white on the inside is still going to show, but once you put the shorts on, of course you're not going to be able to see that part. But all of the outside is going to be covered in either the red sequin fabric or the blue sequin sequin fabric. And you're going to repeat the same steps for the back of the shorts that you did on the front of the shorts. So using the scissors to cut the fabric, measuring up to the shorts for both the blue and the red, and then putting the fabric on top of the white, covering it completely and gluing it down. Very, very simple. And this is what the shorts should look like after all of that cutting and gluing, and then it has to dry. These were still a little wet, so you can see the glue white spot. Was recording so I Google my text I just Google Harley Quinn shirt text to go find the text for her shirt and um, you just save whichever one you like best um, and you add it and then you go into your editing software clear the background or go into Cricut and clear the background so that won't show up just the text and then you know you cut it out and print it on your vinyl now I did want to say you can still do this project even if you don't have a Cricut machine. You can actually just print that graphic picture of the text onto heat transfer paper that you can purchase from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, any craft store and it prints directly onto heat transfer paper. You cut the transfer out and you iron it onto your top so you can still do this even if you don't have a Cricut machine. Okay. So I want my daughter's shirt to be about 10 inches. So like right here, this is a 12 inch ruler, of course. So I would say about nine inches in width. So that's about the size it's gonna be. Go to next. Oh wait, no, go to mirror on, and then you're gonna place your vinyl face down, and I'm about to go print this now. So before you iron on your image or your vinyl, whatever you're using, you want to go ahead and paint the shirt. Now, if you are going to use the paint I would say go ahead and just iron on your image so that you don't have to wait until the shirts dry if you're in a rush um, it's up to you how you want to do it this is just my suggestion my trial and error my image is not ironed on it still has the clear film around it but I did go ahead and start painting the top collar of the shirt which Harley Quinn had in the Suicide Squad movie so let me say this if you're going to use the water and paint method understand that the paint is going to bleed a little more than you think it's going to bleed so my paint bled a little too far down than I expected it to so I would have definitely brung up the paint a lot more if I would have known how much it was going to bleed it's not a big deal it's a DIY costume it doesn't have to be perfect but I'm just trying to tell you guys my mistakes so you don't make those same mistakes so as you can see the red it's bright red at the collar but as you see down those wet spots on the shirt it has that slight tint of red pink color and that's because it bled down that far and that's typically where you want to keep it white still if you are going off of the Harley Quinn costume now I did go in and use just the red paint to get it even brighter red so I skipped the water and just went right in with the red paint that's optional if you don't have time to do it you don't have to do it it still looks good 
without actually just taking the paint and painting it. So now I am going ahead and ironing on the vinyl to my shirt and I turned it inside out to make sure that I get it on there good. Again, you guys, this costume, I just needed to last up to an hour, two hours for my daughter and <laughs> we'll be good. So I'm cutting the sleeves because Harley Quinn shirt is like a baseball sleeve and I'm going to take some of the fabric from the shorts and actually put it onto the sleeve. Again, you can skip this part because this fabric is a little hard to work with when you're working in smaller pieces and you can just paint the sleeves red and white and then add a little blue tint to it because one of her sleeves did have the blue on it. This is just my suggestions, but this is just what I did. So I did go ahead and show this part. And I am gonna also do her socks the exact same way with the same fabric and the same stripes on it. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this DIY. I did do my daughter's jacket, but I didn't have time to finish it on camera in order to upload this video in time, but I did her jacket exactly how I did her shorts. I found an old jacket that was beat up, stained, and probably too small for her, and I outlined it, traced it, glued the fabric onto it, the same exact steps that I did for her shirt, her shorts, sorry, that's why I didn't include it in the video, but here is a sneak peek of what her jacket was looking like when I started doing her DIY. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys create your own DIY Harley Quinn costume, or if you just get inspired to create a DIY costume, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and happy Halloween. Bye, guys.